Hello Internet, welcome to another EMFT tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll discuss Maxwell's first equation. The Maxwell's first equation is derived from Gauss's law of electrostatics and uh, the equation is really simple and easy to understand as opposed to what its perception is in the, in the world of EMFT studies. Now we'll break down the equation step by step and I'll try to um, put in some real life examples to show what this equation means. Now if you look at the if you look at the Maxwell's equation in differential form it looks something like this and its equivalent integral form looks something like this. Now we are going to dig deep into what these equations mean and we are going to derive these with the physical interpretation of these equations. Now before we derive the Maxwell's first equation we will need to understand what Gauss's law of electrostatics is. Now Gauss's law of electrostatics is very simple, it is I guess the simplistic form of expressing electric flux. Now what Gauss's law says that the total flux out of the surface of a volume is equivalent to the charge enclosed. Now for example I have certain amount of charge inside this volume with a finite surface uh, let us say I have plus C coulomb uh, plus C coulomb of charge the flux out of this surface would be equivalent to C now it cannot get any simpler than this so putting it into some expression I would say that the total flux total electric flux which is given by psi is equivalent to charge enclosed uh, let us mark it as Q coulomb of charge now plus sign represents that the flux lines will move outwards it, had it been a negative charge here would have an equivalent amount of lines going inside the surface of this volume. Now please understand every closed uh, volume will have a finite surface that can be calculated. If it if it would be a, a geometrically symmetric surface it will be easier to calculate for example cuboid or a cube or a sphere but even if the surface is irregular we can simply calculate it by taking the surface integral over the entire surface so um, this is how we can calculate the total surface of an irregular Gaussian surface now having understood this part of the Gauss's law will make the life a whole lot of easier because if you look at uh, this part the left hand side of the left hand side of this equation is the electric flux and this is charge so somewhere the electric flux is being related to the charge and if you look at uh, the Maxwell's first equation in the differential form it says that the divergence of D is equivalent to volume charge 
density now please understand that d here is electric flux density so uh, if you now start to relate these two things on the left hand side of the Maxwell's first equation in differential form we have flux density so electric flux is being featured on the left hand side and volume charge density is being featured on the right hand side so uh, the the Maxwell's first equation is is we can say uh, a different representation of the relation of electric flux with the charge we can clearly see that Maxwell was uh, a very intelligent and clever mathematician who, who has uh, taken the Gauss's law of electrostatics very cleverly and put it in the mathematical form which which looks a lot fancier and and a lot uh, interpretable so let us see how we derived into uh, this form now first task is to convert this electric flux on the left hand side into the flux density so what we can see here is uh, the flux density D can be related to flux as the total flux upon the area and if you look out for this particular surface we can say that the total surface integral is given by this uh, we take a small area ds and then we integrate that small area over the entire surface leading us to find the entire area so uh, just by rearranging this stuff a bit we can find that this is uh, some rearrangement of the stuff I'm skipping some uh, part to make the things look more easier so I've gotten this thing on the on the right hand side so uh, my uh, electric flux can be represented in terms of electric flux density along with the area like this on the on the right hand side of the equation uh, we have uh, charge the total charge enclosed in the in the area so what we want to do is we want to express this total charge into charge density so in other words what we are doing uh, up till now is we are expressing our flux in terms of flux density and we are going to be express expressing our charge in the charge density so again uh, charge density would be uh, would be calculated by dividing uh, the total charge by uh, the volume because uh, we are talking about the charge enclosed in the total volume so and how can you calculate the total volume the total volume can be expressed as uh, volume integral of small volume taken out of this bigger volume so this small volume is dv and if we integrate it over the entire uh, volume then we get the total volume so I can say that the volume charge density is uh, the total charge upon the total volume so I'll put this equation here 
and volume can be expressed as the volume integral of small volumes over the entire volume and a small little rearrangement gives me this thing uh, which is equivalent to my total charge and this was equivalent to my total flux now if you notice this thing we've gotten to a point where my uh, flux which was equivalent to charge can now uh, be represented in terms of flux density and volume charge density so this this format of uh, representation of Gauss's law of electrostatics uh, in terms of uh, flux density and volume charge density is known as Maxwell's first equation in integral form so that is what the derivation of uh, Maxwell's first equation is in the integral form now we are left with only one task of expressing this uh, form of equation in integral form into the differential form and how do we achieve that uh, what we do is we simply apply uh, divergence theorem now applying divergence theorem on if if i consider this as one uh, by the way uh, you could find out a little more about divergence theorem on 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 the topics that i discuss when i discuss uh, divergence theorem stokes theorem and green's theorem as mathematical tools to express waves all right having having determined the maxwell's equation in integral form for the first equation now what we need to do is we need to apply divergence theorem now divergence theorem says that the divergence of any vector out of the volume is equivalent to the normal component of that vector out of the surface so this is what divergence theorem says and putting uh, the vector d instead of a into the divergence theorem we get uh, d dot ds replacing a by d we get divergence of d out of the volume v so comparing one and two more appropriately comparing right hand side of 1 and 2 we get uh, del dot d to be equivalent to rho v which is Maxwell's first equation in differential form please understand the physical interpretation of this is nothing but a simplistic approach towards uh, explaining that the total uh, electric flux density that will come out of the surface of a volume would be equivalent to the charge enclosed but over here uh, what Maxwell has taken is uh, he has taken a very small amount of area and he's finding out divergence uh, he's finding out electric flux density out of that area and he's relating that to the volume charge density inside uh, the volume because he would assume that the charge distribution inside the volume is uniform now considering that the charge uh, distribution is uniform it will be safe to assume that the total charge enclosed can be easily fi found out using this 
right hand side part of the equation and assuming that the electric flux density out of the small little surface uh, would eventually sum up to form the total flux which will be equivalent to the left hand side of this equation so that is what the physical interpretation of Maxwell's first equation and derivation is and I hope this tutorial uh, was of some help and if you liked the tutorial please hit the like button share the good word and consider subscribing to the channel you have a good day good life bye